Baldness is hair loss or absence of hair. Now doctors call it alopecia. Usually the most noticeable on the scalp but can happen anywhere in the body. It can be your armpits, your chest hair, abdominal hair, your uh, groin region or even your beards. It is more common in men than in women because men have more hair so it's more visible. So baldness types. Now female pattern of baldness is one kind of baldness where females start to lose hair but the pattern is that the thinning occurs all over the head and there's no particular patchy thinning. The hairline is usually maintained that means the anterior limitation of the hairline and the total loss of hair is usually rare which is more common in males whereas there's a pattern known as a Ludwig pattern where there's a gradual recession of the parting line of the hair. Then there's another pattern known as a male pattern of baldness where there is an inherited condition the hairline recedes that means the hairline over your forehead goes back and finally there's a total loss of hair is common. Then there's another medical condition known as alopecia areata where there is patchy loss of all hair may involve other parts apart from scalp like your beard regions, your eyebrows, your armpits, your chest, groin etc. Now genetic and autoimmune associations may be present but not proved yet. Now there is another condition known as trichotillomania which is a psychological condition in which a person pulls his or her own hair out. Now this is usually seen in youngs and young adults and can be treated by psychological methods. Now what causes baldness? Now the causes can be genetic or they can be environmental. Now genetic factors include a sex influence trait that means if a male has one recessive allele he will show that trait but it will take two recessive for the female to show the same trait. Then environmental factors include stressful hairstyles like tight ponytails that pull your hair a lot. Then there can be drugs or supplements, radiation therapy, stress, nutritional deficiency all can lead to hair loss. Now how we diagnose baldness? Now baldness diagnosis depends on clinical history and examination, presence of chronic illness or drug or medication use or even a supplement use. Now diagnosis is mostly made by physicians particularly dermatologists. Now how they treat baldness? So the treatment can be a medical by applying medicine over the bald area or if that me method fails then you can go for a hair transplant surgery where healthy hairs are transplanted over your bald area. This summarizes the idea of baldness. Now to get notes and flashcards from our site, you can follow us on our Facebook and Instagram page at Animated Biology with Arpan. The link will be in the description. Also, to provide high quality educational content for free, we need your support. And to support us, you can use the super thanks icon to support our channel that is in the bottom right corner of any video and you can pay using Paytm, Paypal or for Indians it can be UPI as well. Now if you wish to connect with Arpan, the connection links will be given in the description box below. This video was made in collaboration with the Nord Medic, who creates medicine related content on YouTube. His connection links are given over here. Until then bye bye. See you in the next one.